One of my favorite internal link tools is within Ahrefs. So it's kind of hidden, so it's not always easy to know that this tool exists. But when you go into your site audits, there's the internal link opportunities report right here. And what this will do, it'll audit your entire website and map out all of the possible internal link opportunities that you have. Uh, and what's really nice about this is you'll see it has the source page. This is the page you would go into to add the internal link. Um, here we have the keyword. And then this is the paragraph that the keyword is used in. And then this target page is the one that ranks for this keyword. So, and you can actually see the position here as well. So we're on page three. So what this does, it basically automatically maps out where you can add an internal link and gives you the exact anchor text to use contextually in an article that already exists. Um, so this, this can save a ton of time just mapping out all the possible internal links that you could do. You could even filter by target page. So if there's a certain page uh, that you're looking to optimize and you want to drive more internal links to it, you could filter this uh, using the advanced filters here to only show uh, the target page that you want. And we can get rid of this one. Uh, and change this any way we want. And then that'll actually filter this down. I really like to export the data into a Google Sheet. And you could actually make this a client ready deliverable. So if you're doing a technical audit or if you're doing a content strategy, this is a great add-on to those files. Uh, it's really easy to run and it gives really good insight, which previously we would have to do manually and would take a lot of time. So if you export, uh, you could export, normally we would export the full thing, but I'm just gonna export 100 rows just for the, uh, demonstration here. Then we could import this. Uh, if we go to file import right into a Google sheet and I'm going to drag that over and then just with a little bit of formatting. So we're going to do replace data at selected cell import. Now we have uh, this report here. What I like to do is just a little bit of formatting to make this look better. So we're going to just alternate the colors. You could change the header if um, you have a certain brand color or something you want to use there. We'll just keep that simple for now. Um, I like to drag this top down. So we freeze the headers. Uh, we're going to center these. We're going to wrap them. And then I like to also add a filter here. So now we kind of have some basic formatting. Now there's some data I remove just to make it simpler for the client. So you can either hide or delete. So hiding the columns is an option, or you could just delete them entirely. I'm also going to get rid of this here. And we're just going to start with the source page, the keyword. We'll keep the context in there. Search volume and difficulty, I'm going to keep for now. Uh, we're going to center these. I like to also format the numbers here just to make that look a little bit better. Uh, and then we're going to delete out these extra rows and then drag out the target page a little bit. And let's center that. Um, now we have a really nice report that we could include in any other audit that we're doing. This could even be a standalone deliverable, an internal link audit, and then you actually go in and implement these internal links on a monthly basis. Um, you could also format this too. Sometimes what's nice in uh, doing some conditional formatting on this, where we can say uh, less than or equal to this, so we're on the first page, then we could say in between uh, is between this, so we're on page two, and I like to make that yellow. And then we could do greater than and basically be on page three and above. And then you could quickly kind of color code and format this. And we could see potentially the keywords that are ranking on page two. These might be good ones to build internal links for, maybe bottom of page one as well. So this becomes a really nice report that you can deliver to your client. Or if you're doing this for your own website, it just speeds up the time it would normally take to do internal link mapping and then all you need to do is log in and chip away at the list and execute and get these implemented. So this uh, report again is inside of Ahrefs. It's not in their main navigation. You have to run a site audit first and a site crawl. And then once you do that, you just need to navigate down to internal link opportunities and you'll get this report. And you could either use it right in the interface here or you could export it like we like to do and move it into a Google Sheet format.